Hello Kidlets, Mr. Flick here with another great and exciting tech badge for you. This one is called Video 2 and it's all about the Ken Burns style of making videos. It's really cool. All right, you're probably thinking to yourself, Mr. Flick, why on earth is it so important that I learned how to make videos like Ken Burns? Who the heck is Ken Burns? That is a real person. You can go ahead and Google him if you want to. But Ken Burns is a documentarian, documentary, the guy who makes documentaries. Okay, whatever the name of that person is, that's what Ken is. And Ken, uh, he started doing these Civil War videos. And of course, for the Civil War in the United States, all he had were these old photos. And if you just show somebody a photo, you know, like, I don't even have one around here. I'm so digital, I don't even have a photo to show you. And it's just still, it's just sitting there. And you're talking like blah, 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 all about the Civil War. It's really boring because the photo's just there, okay? So he came up with the idea. He's like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan my camera across the photo to give a little bit of movement. And then I might even come in close on what I'm talking about, okay? So if he was talking about, say, a wounded soldier in the Civil War, the camera would start with a big wide shot on the photograph and then it would slowly move in and you would see the wounded soldier that was down in the corner that you might not even have seen when you looked at the wide shot, but he really zooms in on it just ever so carefully so you see this wounded soldier in the corner of the frame, all just from a still photograph. Nothing is moving, but he, he, he revolutionized documentaries and the fact that he gave movement to photos. And as the viewers, we really liked this because something was happening on the screen. I mean, this was kind of cool stuff. So that was years ago. And then along comes all these filmmakers and these um, app developers and everything. And Apple decides with iMovie, hey, let's build that in. We're even naming it after Ken. It's called the Ken Burns Effect. And it allows you digitally what Ken was doing with cameras and big apparatuses and tripods and all these special tables. He must be mad. He must be like, these kids these days, they can just press a button and it's done. Okay. But anyhow, it's what makes it so cool. So you can do a video, which is what you're gonna learn about in this whole thing. This is why it's so important. You can take a video and by just searching for images about a certain thing, a certain subject, you can make it so interesting because you're gonna be doing Ken Burns effects across the videos. And you don't need to go there. You know, like if you do a video, let's say about the pyramids in Egypt, well, you can't you don't get on an airplane, fly over to Egypt, take some video of it, and then bring it back to your report in your class. No, you can Google some images, and then you can make those images look like video. You know, you can scan across them. And it, man, I tell you, this is this is cool stuff. You're gonna thank me for this badge. You're gonna be like, Mr. Flick, you've changed how I've done videos. Okay, so let's talk about what you need for this badge. Of course, you need to have internet access because you're going to be doing Google search for images. You need to have a script, which we'll talk about in the first training video about how to get your script done. I've already taken care of it for you. I've put in the, the first one already on the website. It's just below these videos. It's called the Volcano Facts script. And yes, you're doing another one on volcanoes. Um, you're going to need, you can work in a loud classroom as you're just working on the photos and the Ken Burns and stuff. But when you have to do the audio recording for the narration, your voice talking into the microphone, like I'm doing into my mic right here. Uh, except you're just gonna use the mics on your MacBook. It's okay, they're great microphones. But you do need a quiet place for that, okay? So you might wanna do it at home, or a quiet corner somewhere in the school, or media center, some place that you can just talk in a normal tone, like I'm talking here. You don't need to yell at anything, or talk in a little tiny, tiny squirrel voice. No, you just need to talk at a normal conversational level, and record it. So you need a quiet space. Okay, so those are the things you need. Your MacBook, you need internet access to be able to find the photos. You need iMovie installed on your um, MacBook, which most of them already come with it already installed. And then you need a nice quiet space. You don't need a microphone. You already have one built into your MacBook and then you should be good to go. Okay, to earn this badge, you're gonna make the first Ken Burns video all about volcanoes for me. Okay, and trust me, I got new information for you, so it's not the same information you've been doing other projects on. And then you're going to do a Ken Burns video for your teacher on some subject you're studying in class. You turn those two in, and then you have earned your badge. If they're good, I mean, if you turn in bad videos, I mean, you're not going to earn a badge. But when you turn them in and they're good, we'll be like, woohoo! And we're going to bring one down to you, and we're going to 
pin it on your backpack. Well, we're gonna let you pin it on your backpack. We're gonna present you with this awesome badge and you'll be like, yeah, that's right, people, I earned it. All right, let's talk about impressive ratings. First of all, grandma is gonna be so impressed. Grandma is gonna be five, five grandmas, okay? That's amazing. Grandma's gonna be like, this video looks like something I saw on, you know, the History Channel. It's gonna be great. All right, and she's gonna know who Ken Burns is. I mean, that's what's gonna be awesome about it. Uh, your teacher, um, boom, five, okay? Five, because your teacher's gonna be so impressed because the videos are looking so great in her classroom. She's gonna be bringing other teachers in from all around the world to say, look what my kids can do. This is amazing. And we're gonna go away from those other um, audio background music that everybody is so sick of hearing. Let's see, I don't even have one on my computer. And you know the ones that, dee -dee -dee -dee, the ones that we've heard a million times that are built into iMovie. I'm gonna show you around that. That's why five from your teacher. And then your, your peers, your peers are gonna watch your first video and be like, you made that? And then they're gonna be signing up to do this badge too. So uh, they're not gonna be as crazy as grandma and your teacher, but I'm gonna do a four, okay? Your fellow students are gonna be have a four impressive rating on this one. This is a great badge. You guys are gonna love doing this one. All right, just like always, my name is Mr. Flick. My real name is Mr. Flickinger. If you've stumbled onto this video on YouTube, uh, please make sure to go over to mytechbadges.com. Um, Students that are already at mytechbadges.com, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It kind of lets me know how many people are out there watching and it's gonna be great. So anyhow, um, mytechbadges.com, that's where to go. That's where it's all organized. And I have like the script that you're gonna need for your video, it's all there. Okay, so that's, that's where you need to be. If nothing's making sense, go over there. There's even like an intro to badges badge that you can watch and say, what the heck is he keeps talking about these badges? But anyhow, that's over there. I'll see you in the trainings. Well, go watch the student example down below to say, wow, look at what students are doing. And then I'll see you in the trainings, okay?